all, thank you for having me. So it starts on a typical day when I'm like actually scrolling down my Facebook and my friend Shushmi that she actually sent me a message saying that our college has gone bust. And I'm like, what? No way. And then she's like, it's real. And then she sends me a, an article, a news article saying that Korea's Australia has shut down. And then I'm like, nah, that's fake news. That does not happen in Australia. It might happen in our country, but that does not happen in Australia. And then she was like, we'll find about it tomorrow. And I'm like, yeah, we'll find out about it tomorrow. And then the next day we go to our campus and there I see everyone outside, standing outside the building. And I'm like, oh shoot, <laughs> it's true. Our college is actually shut down. Um, but. The, the devastating thing for me was I was having a personal problem back at my home as well. So having our college shut down was another problem for me because we were having problems with our visa. We were like really scared that our visa might get terminated and we might have to go back and everything and we were really scared. But before I get to the good part, let me introduce myself. Good morning and namaste. My name is Sushma Gale, and I'm from Kathmandu, Nepal. I'm currently 23 years old. So talking about my schooling, I started my school when I was age five, and I finished it at like age 16. Um, my parents, so I come from a family of four. So my mom, my dad, my older brother, and me. So when I was, a young kid, me and my brother, we were really young when my mom and dad uh, went abroad to work so that they could like financially support our education and everything. So we were like apart most of the times. So me and my brother, we used to stay at the school dormitory. So it was once in two years that we got to see them, but phone call was always necessary. So. There was a lot of like crying and things going on. Like, you know how parents are, right? <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but uh, if I have to like talk about the present me, I think because of staying like far apart from them for a long time now, like distance does, on, does not matter that much to me. But sometimes whenever I see family like uh, going out, hanging with like, hanging around, like, ha like doing shopping and just, you know, Sorry, just like hanging out. At, that's the one time that I really miss their physical appearance because I really wish that they would that they would be here with me. Like I could like enjoy my times with them, but that's all right. <laughs> um, so um, whenever my mom used to come on holidays, um, she had like really weak body before, like even before she went abroad. So whenever she used to come on holiday, um, she was always like, she was always sick. She did not like have much time to like enjoy with us. She was always like bedridden sometimes. So I think that's one of the things that inspired me to be a nurse. So I thought like, I think I must be one of the people like who works in a health sector so that I can help my mom and other people who are going through the same problems. So that, uh, so I studied the, uh, Diploma of Nursing back in my home country as well. And I'm a registered nurse there. And after that, I started to think like I should, I think I should do more. So I came to Australia in January and uh, January 2017. And I started my um, Diploma of Nursing in Korea's Australia. But um, I completed my Diploma of Nursing from Think Health Education. So. <laughs> Um, for now, my plan is to do my nursing registration, and, uh, but that's not it. I'm still planning to do my Bachelor's of Nursing. And <laughs> um, uh, after that, hopefully a job in Tasmania, uh, but uh, it might be too cold, so I'm scared. <laughs> so um, I'm just planning that after getting all the experience and everything, I'm still planning to go back to my country so that I can bring a change in the health sectors and everything. Um, so, like I said in the beginning, how Korea's Australia shut down, I think like everything happens for a reason, and I think that was, that was a good reason, because later on we found out that think health education stepped in and like they were like uh, taking over our nursing course, and then the good part was that we were like starting off from where we had let, left off. 
So when I was in Korea's Australia, when Korea's Australia shut down, I was in my first semester. I still had to do my placements and everything. Um, because Korea's Australia shut down later on, like moving into the education, everything was like scattered. But uh, there was a really big surprise for us as well because we had all our educators, all the reception staff there waiting for us. And that was a really big support for us because we had that like emotional bond. We had that bond that we have already created with our educators. So that was a really big surprise. Um, so after that, um, my educator, Natalie, she even gave me the opportunity to become the student ambassador, student uh, ambassador for like uh, programs and everything. Uh, I got the opportunity to go to different like open days, info sessions, and just like few weeks ago, I got to go to like um, the New South Wales Training Awards as a guest student speaker, and I'm really thankful for that. And. I think uh, with all of these, I got to like meet new people, like all of you. <laughs> I got to meet new people. I got to like speak, speak from my heart. And then I think from that, I like, you know, got confidence. And I'm really thankful for that because I'm usually a really shy person. Right now, my face is like really burning because I'm really <laughs> nervous at the moment. <laughs> but everything good hap happened after that we got a lot of opportunities we like i completed all my placements i graduated and here i am sharing my story with all of you thank you for listening to me and i would like to thank like think health education laureate university torrance university for everything that they had done for us thank you so much thank you